Hello, my name is Matteo and today I want to talk to you about e-commerce SEO by WordLift. If you are an e-commerce owner and if your e-commerce runs on WooCommerce, this video is for you. Especially if you want better rankings, if you want to get your place in um, Google products uh, and if you want to find out how to seamlessly connect your content with your products. So most of this video will be uh, spent inside the WordPress uh, dashboard. But first of all, I want to tell you uh, what you get when you buy for $79 a yearly subscription to e-commerce SEO by WordLift. Well, you get three things. The first thing is that you get the possibility of getting inside Google products, so appearing as a Google product results in the, um, uh, in the search page, and you get that without even creating a feed. So e-commerce SEO by WordLift already adds the relevant markup for you to get into Google products automatically. The second advantage is that you will pop in those search results. So whenever you rank for uh, some keyword, this result will look awesome. And I'm going to show you practically some examples of how your results can look. And finally, you will have the possibility of super easily and seamlessly connect your editorial content and your products. So people will land on your page where you have your guide to look cool in 2021 and you'll be able to very easily link your products up there. But this is a hands-on demo. So let me start with the demo part and let's activate e-commerce SEO by WordLift and let's see what happens when we do this. So let's click on activate and we go through a very simple wizard. Uh, at the beginning, there might be a step where a WordLift is downloading some, uh, some software and it can take a little while. In this case, we have downloaded it already and I'm prompted to enter my organization name, my store name and to add a logo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, why are we asking for this information? Actually, this information is crucial to get the proper markup and in order to get those rich results and to get into Google products. So there is a reason behind this. In the next step, we describe what is it that e-commerce SEO does for you. And here there is a little pitch. Now today I'm going to show you everything that you can do with our $79 product. But there is so much more that I will show you in future videos. And this offer that we're making right here is 84% off. So it's pretty unmissable. And I really invite you to dig in and learn more and, and get, this, uh, uh, get this offer. But for the sake of this demo, I'll just say no thanks, which by the way, is the wrong answer. Now, um, I'll go ahead and subscribe to uh, the uh, email newsletter because I'm going to get targeted emails just on uh, e-commerce from this. And now I am ready to go. So where do we go first? The first things we're going to do is to go into products and let's see what happens inside, the, inside products when we installed e-commerce SEO by WordLift. We're going to go ahead and head edit this, uh, uh, this product uh, and you will notice that below the main, uh, the main description, there is a, a new box. So in this new box, these are uh, the properties that uh, e-commerce SEO by WordLift adds. And so we can uh, describe the item condition, for instance, new, and we can define, for instance, a brand. So let's say that we have a, um, a Nike uh, sweater with uh, with uh, with a hoodie and it's for instance black and we can add these specifications but why do we add those like for instance if you are uh, on um, WooCommerce you have the possibility of having search results that look like this right your rating is being passed through your reviews your price it's a pretty it's a pretty nice way of uh, of popping out but what happens, for instance, if you populate those, those other fields? Well, for instance, you get the possibility of having something looking like this. Now, in this case, this is a Walmart uh, result and they have some custom types. But for instance, they have the type color. And that's where what we just edited here would appear. Color, brand, 
etc etc so you really want to have that because if you compare this that we just uh, that we just saw um, uh, the um, just the rating the reviews and in this case we have some site links here below with this as so much more real estate right so this is why we are uh, we're taking care and adding these fields but there is another important field that we want to fill in and that is the product number now this product number can be expressed in a variety of way the GTIN 8 to 14 or the MPN but this is really important for Google to really understand that when you're talking about a product you're talking about that product now for instance for for this uh, uh, for this demo we're going to use uh, an MPM from a, a Pixel 5, a 5 uh, phone but um, uh, if you are if you're selling products that you're creating yourself you can go through the process of getting your own GTIN or if you are selling um, products that are present also in other stores you can definitely uh, go and look up what is the correct uh, number we are also providing here with some really useful links to understand better what these product identifiers are about listen just to this for today they're really important they're really crucial for you to get um, to get to the right level now what we can do at this point at this point we can already hit uh, update I'm going to show you some other things uh, later on uh, we're going to hit update and we want to check another thing on the front end we want to check that we have a customer review uh, because this will uh, definitely have an impact in the in the markup that we have so we have a review maybe we can we can add another one um, and there we go so so this this is sort of looking good on the on the front end uh, this is looking good on the front end so um, let me go back on the back end and uh, we we added these properties but uh, actually I don't see them here so what what happened where, where are these properties why don't I have a new box here because actually these properties are down in the code and if I want to uh, verify how these properties look like what I need to do is I want to test them with the rich result tool from Google and if I do this uh, it will analyze the page and it will look for this added markup and if we've done uh, everything right we will get a green check mark now a second of suspense and um, what what uh, uh, Google is looking at right now is uh, how we added the uh, product identifier the MPN uh, it's looking at how we encoded the product information in general so the the color and so on uh, it's looking at uh, the features that we added in terms of uh, um, uh, just the picture and all the other elements that are already present in WooCommerce that we are encoding and so you can see that this page is eligible for rich results so actually our search result can really look more like this in uh, in the future and we have the review and we have the description of the product and if we look into this code I know that's not the best thing uh, to do right now but if you look into this code you will see that you have the ratings you have the colors you have all the features that we already already saw so there's so much more that we can do but I want to show you already what can happen for instance if we go uh, and go edit some content and how we connect the hoodie with zipper that now has been augmented with e-commerce SEO uh, to our editorial content so let's head up into posts and I already created a, a, a test post for for us to play with and um, connect your content and your products that's certainly what we want to do and for instance I've um, uh, already switched here from just the uh, general uh, the general tab to the world if tab and you can see that in this world if tab you're getting some new features for instance if I were to highlight hoodie I can add hoodie and what happens here is that I get some results and I want to add hoodie with zipper in this case and what happens right now we're gonna we're gonna go on and uh, update and we're gonna uh, open this uh, um, this uh, this page on the front end 
And before we didn't have any link. Now, uh, if we refresh, we have a link. And we have this, um, uh, this hover uh, image that is coming up with the reviews with the image, etc, etc. So this is a fantastic way already to integrate uh, your content with your product. We have a link. So with this link, we can already already go to the product page and already start uh, start buying. That's not it. I want to show you a few other tricks. So another trick is actually that you're talking about clothing because uh, it's in general, you're talking about clothing and you want a reference, for instance, the hoodie again. Uh, but if you search for clothing, it will give you no results because it's not finding the hoodie. Now what happens here is you can always search hoodie and you can tag also this one in the same way so that clothing connects to your product, the hoodie. And I want to show you this. Now we have the possibility of automatically looking into your content and suggesting related products. So e commerce SEO is not only an SEO plugin, but it's actually creating more engagement on your site by providing you with product recommendations. And if I add this navigator, and I can, um, I can customize it, I can customize the title, the amount of um, a product that is being suggested. And I go on ahead and update this you will see how it looks on the front end and it looks stunning. Uh, you will have related products and you're going to be able to browse through related products. And you can see that the first product that is being highlighted here is the hoodie with zipper. And let me refresh this page uh, again. And what I want to do is go ahead and put this URL uh, again in the uh, rich results tool because I want to see also what has happened in the background. So how is this um, sort of giving us a, an added advantage? Well, the added advantage is that the products are encoded also on this page, so that Google knows precisely that from this page, we're referring to those products. Now, while Google is uh, is analyzing, I want to tell you another thing, you have the possibility and this page is eligible for uh, rich results. We have these page loading issues, but I'm just on a test site. I don't have I don't have caching activated. Um, but you can see um, I have a warning here because I didn't put a featured image. But um, I, I can uh, we can go ahead and add uh, the feature image. You can see that I'm referring to the hoodie with zipper here. Google already knows that and is already creating a, a strong tie between this content and uh, the the products that I'm that I'm selling. But I want to show you another thing. So I have a few examples here. And like from this example, you can see that for some results, Google will give you this fantastic drawer. And you have this fantastic drawer for the FAQs that you're gonna um, answer the, the questions that you're answering in your post. Now you can have this and you can have this for your uh, posts and even for your products. Let's see how it looks for uh, for a product. So let's go back uh, to the products editor. Uh, and let's go back to all products. And let's go back to the to the hoodie with zipper. So on the hoodie with zipper, I can introduce you to uh, our new friends, the entity types. Now in future videos, I will tell you how you can use the article, the organization, the person and the thing. For today, we're sticking to product and FAQ page. Now, uh, product and FAQ page uh, are a fantastic way as we've seen already to tell Google what we're talking about, connect our, uh, our content inside the website. But again, I can also add FAQs. So in this case, uh, I can just add uh, some simple questions. What is the color? In this case, we're just repeating information uh, that is already uh, in the in the markup. But in this case, we're adding this information for humans, not only for uh, for machines. Uh, what we can go ahead and do is update this. Uh, let's have a look on the front end to see what happened on the front end because I'm adding an FAQ. What is what is going to happen on the page, right? What is going to happen on the page? Let's have a look. 
uh, and actually nothing changed on the page. Again, we're adding this markup uh, below under the skin. And so um, we're not going to see this FAQ markup here. Obviously, I can I can add these FAQs if I want in a description or in the theme wherever I want. But actually, if I want to see what really happened uh, with this FAQ process, I can go again and click on the test of the Google uh, rich snippets and and see what is gonna uh, what is gonna find out in this uh, in this page uh, because right now we marked uh, the product we marked the special features we have an MPN we have the color we have the state new used um, etc uh, we connected it to a piece of content and now we are uh, um, we are even adding the FAQ and as you can see here already we have the FAQs uh, set up here. So this is some of the things you can already do with uh, e-commerce SEO from WordLift. My invitation for you is to go on the WooCommerce store, go into the marketplace and just type SEO and you get to e-commerce SEO and try it out now. But my top tip for you is actually when you try it, book a demo with us. Um, go to worldlift.io and from the home page, one of the most prominent buttons is book a demo. Book a demo with one of our SEO experts so that they can really guide you through the process and they can tell you everything you can get, both with e-commerce SEO uh, by Wordlift, but also with Wordlift Business plus e-commerce, which adds a lot uh, of other very, very interesting features. Now, my last invitation is to watch the next video about uh, e-commerce SEO. The suggestion is appearing on the screen uh, next to me and um, continue on this journey into optimizing your e-commerce, get more sales, get a better position on Google, get a better looking position on Google, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much.